what's really happened in the last five years is Melbourne has become this ginormous behemoth of design culture and community. Mm. And if you think about it from a cultural output, the, the output in Melbourne now is phenomenal. also a community behind the scenes of um, makers and producers that don't often get to be highlighted uh, and it's so wonderful to shed some light on those practices and people. I just wanted it to be like a very humble proposition of just thinking about the things that we use in our daily life and how we interact with those. Just questioning as well, not just accepting that this is the way that we live and this is the objects that we need to live a certain way. Particularly through the, through the pandemic, I think it was a real time of reflection for a lot of people, for myself as well. And I think that um, it really, really important now that, that we make sure that everything we do, we can really stand behind how it was made and where it was made really interesting thing about working on a project like this where uh, you know there is no financial gain it means that we do the work because we see it as being important to do but we also see it as something for our practice to get better at. They became so taboo in the 80s, you know, teaks and mahogany and the architects started to adopt sustainable um, practices. What we need to do, instead of diminishing previous design styles, is no longer meaningful, somehow incorporate them usefully. We give a brief to designers for them to be a bit more experimental in their work, so it's less about a piece that's marketable, it can be a prototype. This is about ideas and it's very ideas driven. Every artist has their own practice, you know, there's no competition here, it's just everyone has their own thing and, and that's so, so beautiful and each artist has their own background, whether it be cultural, whether it be religious, you know, yeah. art doesn't discriminate in any way and, yeah. and it shouldn't. I think what's so important for all of us now after our COVID lockdown craziness is the connection and I really 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 hope that the world will learn from this and things will get better um, in, on a human level that um, people can just people are kinder and nicer to each other and you know just not so many fuckwits around <laughs> for fuck's sake <laughs> excuse my French <laughs> just staying censored <laughs> censored <laughs>